here's a topic that nobody talks about. I, I've never heard anybody talk about this. If I'm wrong, let me know. Yesterday, somebody said, can you help them jump their car off? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't say it that way, but I said, no, I don't use my car. Like that. My car is a business. I don't use it like that. In other words, what am I saying? I'm saying that this person who's a transient traveling isn't holding a stable job doesn't pre-plan and every five years buy them a new battery wants me to sacrifice instead of them calling AAA or you know, I've seen it a thousand times you know if they want to pay me yeah I'll do it but they never give you a tip or anything my point is, I've done it in the past, and the chances of you doing a cold start on your battery and messing something up or just taking time out of your, your life, your day, or whatever for somebody who, el who doesn't know how to plan or doesn't want to sacrifice, doesn't want to go to Walmart, you can get a, char you can get a battery jump device at Walmart with a drop cord and charge your own battery but they don't want to spend the money right I've got two of them at the house you plug it in you put the leads on your battery you jump your own car from the power but they don't they don't want that because they got to spend money right they got to sacrifice in other words they want you people like that want you to sacrifice for them I noticed that in marriage you, you marry somebody who wants you to sacrifice for them, but they don't want to sacrifice. Hello? I've seen it across the board. I've seen it in churches. I've seen it on the job. I've seen it in a marriage. Marriages. Uh, they, they want you to sacrifice, but they don't want to sacrifice. Hello? They want you to sacrifice for them, but they don't want to sacrifice Jack. Most people get married. This is this is what I noticed. Most of them they get married because they want to be on your insurance. They want to travel because of you. They want to vampire off of your strength. And this is what it talks about in Proverbs chapter 31. Oh King Lemur, it's not for kings to give your strength unto women. That was a warning about the future to come, right? And he didn't listen. He had a thousand concubines vampiring off of him, taking him into idolatry. Anyway, they want to pull you into their... They want to go travel so it's the bill's on you. They want to have comfort and ease so the bill's on you. They want you to sacrifice for them, but they won't even lift a finger to clean the house or cook. You know, I don't think so. When you wake up to this, you see it everywhere. You see it at the churches. The pastor wants to sit around and be a fat cat and not really teach faith alone and Jesus alone. They want to add legalism. Why? Because they want you under legalistic law that you tithe, which the tithe is not even a church, and you take care of their dream because their, their little church building is a business if it was really the gospel, they wouldn't uh, dirty up the water of the gospel, the living water of the gospel with works. You know, they would just say faith alone, but they dirty it up. So you know it's all about self. You know they're not sacrificing. They want you to sacrifice so they can just sit there and be a fat cat. So the fat cats want you to sacrifice for them. This is the way the narcissist works. The narcissist is the same way. The devil is the same way. The pharaoh is the same way. The fat cat is the same way. I had a neighbor uh, across the street I, when I was younger. I used to change their air filter. And you would crawl under the house, bugs and spiders and dirt, and change a dirty old filter, 
crawl out, change the filter. Can you change the filter for me? Come to find out they had a million dollar house on the lake and they didn't even offer to give you a $5 tip or nothing like that. $10, back then it was, $10 would have been legit. They wouldn't even offer anything. And this was a this was people in the church. I'm not talking about I'm talking about people in the church. And I'm talking about marrying people in the church who want to vampire off of you and not sacrifice and not be loyal and not be dependable and not tell the truth and put their mama before their husband. Come on now. They just wanted a free ride. They want and the and the the mom the mama wanted the same thing wanted to benefit from the from the daughter's marriage that they could just vampire off of uh, both of them the daughter and the husband so they could travel and do whatever they want that's the game people <clears throat> that's the game they don't want to pay for their own sin they want you to pay for their sin they want you to be Jesus for them we're talking about a brand new truck, a high dollar truck, and the guy can't even go to Walmart and get him a charger to charge his own battery. Take time out of my day, my energy. I could get, blow up my battery, mess up my car. You don't know. I've done it before, I know how to do it. I mean, I went to school for electrical engineering, I know how to charge a battery. But the whole point is, uh, Anything could happen. It's kind of dangerous, to be honest with you. Jump starting a battery is really dangerous. To be honest. We're talking about acid. We're talking about voltage. We're talking about high amperage. It's really dangerous. you got a bunch of metal around the, the, the hood and the... The frame is a bunch of metal. You just—it's really dangerous, to be honest with you. It's only by the grace of God people hadn't, more people hadn't got hurt charging batteries, to be honest. Anyway, long story short, this is the game of the narcissist. This is the game of the Jezebel. This is the game of the Delilah. This is the game of the person who wants you to sacrifice for them, but, but they won't sacrifice for you. You know how many years I've been uploading for free and people benefit and listen and grow, but they never donate it? Hello, typical. I sacrifice to get this information out there. I do the studies. I throw it out there. And I've had maybe one or two people who couldn't even really afford to donate. <laughs> it's crazy. They'll get their rewards in heaven. They'll get their rewards down here. But, you know, it's, it's really a trip to see... Whether it's a coworker, whether it's an Uber rider, whether it's a, uh, a, a a wife or a neighbor, they they want you to sacrifice for them, but they won't get up out of bed and go to work. They won't work two jobs. They won't work two jobs for nothing. And the reason they're able to do that is because they don't have any truth, they don't have any conviction, and they love to lay in the pig pen and and be beside everybody else who's in the pig pen and just wallow around in the mud and expect you to be like them. But when God calls you out, you know the only way you're going to rise up out of these pig pen people is to sacrifice, you know. And actually, you can make money off the off the sin of other people if you really think about think about a lawyer. A lawyer is making money off sin. The CEO of Bud Light, Budweiser, is making money off of sin. The CEO of uh, the cigarette companies, the beer companies, making money off of sin. 
you can make money off a person's sin, you know. But if you let them, if you let them, uh, if you let them do their sin without a without a fee, in other words, if I was to take these uh, Uber riders around without a fee, hey, can you can you add a stop? I'll, I'll give. Uh, can you? And anytime they say, well, I'll give you some cash, they're not going to pay you. They don't have any money. That's why they didn't add the stop to begin with, because they're trying to get somewhere, because they only had ten dollars in the in the in the app, and so cost them seven, seven eight dollars. They're not going to tip you. They're just lying to you. <clears throat> uh, that happened to me twice at A and T. A&T, A&T State University to women hey if you take me over here I'll give you an extra five dollars they ain't gonna pay you five dollars the, they can talk a big talk and they're nice as all get out I mean they're nice cause they're manipulators they're master manipulators the woman you, you say you have these goals and this is what you're what you want to do and the woman talks a big talk says yeah I agree with that and then as soon as you marry her she changes she does a change up on you because she was lying she was a liar she couldn't follow through I remember one time my wife says well I'm going to recycle let's recycle I said that's fine I knew she wouldn't follow through with it because I just know I knew I learned her character it didn't take long to learn her character Let's recycle. See, in other words, they want you to go along with them, but they don't want to recycle. They want you to do it for them. Why would she say, let's recycle when she wasn't going to do it and wanted me to do it? Because it was a... It was a, a show, an outward show to other people. We're recycling. She wasn't doing jack. It's outward show. We're going to recycle the ultimate narcissist. She didn't want to recycle. She wanted me to recycle, but she wanted to put the image out there that she was recycling because it's uh, the word. I forget. I always forget this word, but it's because I don't, I don't even think like that. But the word is so obvious. Virtue signaling. She was vir she wants to say we're recycling. She's lying, actually was lying to herself. These people lie to themselves. We, I'm recycling. No, you're not. I'm doing it for you. You hadn't, you haven't lifted a finger to recycle. And then when I don't go along with it, you throw a fit and act crazy because you can't virtue signal because I'm not going along with it. Let's boycott Kmart. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Next day, I need some toothpaste. Well, we'll have to go over here because you're boycotting Kmart. No. But we'll have to go over here. I didn't say, well, we can go to Kmart. I thought you were boycotting Kmart. I revealed her virtue signal into her face and she couldn't deal with it because she was lying to herself. Lying to herself. How many people are lying to themselves with virtue signaling? Come on now. Somebody needs to wake up. And the significance of what I'm saying, people don't even hear what I'm saying, how significant it is. It's happening all the time, everywhere. <clears throat>